Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to demonstrate our knowledge of place value. Here's our question. In which of the following numbers does the 9 have a value that is one-tenth the value of the 9 in the number 871 and 953 thousandths? Select the two correct answers. I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we need to understand first and foremost that we're picking two correct answers out of the six multiple choice answers or multiple select. In which of the following numbers does the nine have a value that is one tenth the value of the nine in the number 871 and 953 thousandths. So I notice I have circled all the numerical values, but now we need to interpret and understand what we're being asked. So the first thing I want to do is bring down the number that we have here, the 871 decimal point 953. We're being asked to identify information about the digit that is the nine. So here it is. We are asked to find one-tenth the value of this nine, which is in the tenths column, or digit. We need to understand what this means. One-tenth of this nine. One-tenth, written as a fraction, is one divided by ten. So we can consider that one divided by ten. That means it's getting smaller. Think about having a plate of cookies. If you divide it into groups to share it with other people, your quantity is becoming smaller. So you start with a whole and you divide and it's a part of a whole. So when you get smaller with a decimal, you're moving the decimal point one digit to the right when you divide by 10. So instead of now identifying a number with a nine in the tenths digit, we need to do one tenth of that, which means it's getting smaller by one decimal place, which means we are now considering the hundredths digit. So to the right of the decimal point, we're looking at the second digit, which is our hundredths digit, and we're looking to see which of these values has a nine in the hundredths digit. So now that we understand the question, let's go look at our answers choices. So in A, the nine, the digit that has the nine is the hundredths digit, is two digits to the right of the decimal point. The nine here was one digit to the right of the decimal point. One tenth of that is moving to the right by one, the hundredths digit. So A is one of our two correct answers. Looking at B, the nine is in the ones digit. It's to the left of the decimal point. That is not correct. C, the digit that has the nine is the tens digit, and that is two digits to the left instead of two digits to the right, so that one wouldn't be correct. In choice D, our nine is in the ones digit, which is to the left one digit, so not two digits to the right of the decimal, so not correct. In E, it is in the tens digit, so it is not. It is two digits to the left instead of two digits to the right. And F, here we have it, it is in the hundredths digit, two digits to the right of the decimal point, making it one-tenth of the tenths. And our choice F is also a correct answer. So our correct answers, our two correct answers, are answer choice A, and F, the nine in both of these values is in the hundredths digit. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and continue the challenge. And give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And have a great day.